All right, um, so here's kind of where we sit. Rensselaer open source, All right? We come into here. Um, we'll go down to uh, resources. I do this every, almost every class that you guys get used to being able to do this so you can see what's actually going on. So we're sitting right here, right? I'm going to give a lecture on build systems today. Um, we're going to cover just some basics about how to build a file and why it matters. And then we're going to get into some, some tools, including an open source tool that I uh, used a lot uh, when I was actually working in industry um, called CMake. Uh, unfortunately, to get to CMake, we have about an hour of other lecture, and then CMake gets, gets finished up really quickly because it is takes a lot of the effort out of out of doing um, out of maintaining build systems. But we're sitting, nonetheless, we're sitting right about here in build systems. Your analysis of an open source project is due Friday, and the hope is that the analysis of the open source project will feed directly into um, project pitches. So what we're going to do is, is uh, on Tuesday, you know, we're going to try to get you guys hooked up with projects. Um, and what the way we're going to kind of do this is we're going to, uh, um, anybody who wants to pitch, be thinking about it. Uh, all I need is a couple of slides. You can present them right from your desktop. I'll invite you up to the podium. Uh, on what you want to do. We have some projects from Arcos. Any of the current, at least some of the current Arcos projects are probably uh, still looking for people. I have some some people from uh, uh, the Linux, uh, Linux Foundation who are looking for some people to pick up some work. Um, we have some, uh, uh, I, there's a project on, on lung cancer that, that I would like to get somebody working on. Uh, so we have all, all sorts of projects uh, possible projects. Most of the projects generally, in all honesty, come from you guys um, because no matter how many projects I bring in, you have something generally fun that you want to do and, and it leads to direct projects. Now there's about 40 some people in the class this semester. We expect about four to five, maybe six people per project. Um, so we're looking at somewhere between um, eight and, uh, and 10 projects probably for this year, uh, for this semester. So, you know, not everybody has to present. If you have a project you want to present, that's absolutely wonderful. I'd love to hear it. Uh, if you don't have a project you want to present, but there's an open source community that you want to join, you know, please do a little research. Uh, I'll try to hook you up. The goal is by, you know, we'll present these project pitch slides, and the goal is by the 9th to have you all on a project and starting to uh, starting to investigate at least what uh, that project entails and what you're actually going to do on that project. Um, you'll notice that all of this kind of funnels into the last day to drop. By the time the last day to drop comes around, I want you to have a project and I want to have graded your test one, which coincidentally is next Friday. Okay, so um, so that's kind of where we set right now. We are right here. We have a week till project presentations. Um, we have a week and a half to our first test. Uh, and then after that, we will start. We'll try to get you all graded and, uh, and, and on projects and, and kind of uh, working on things. So, you know, we will kind of work through these things. Um, I do want to point out something else. If you go to the resources section and you come down to sample quizzes, um, you know, here's spring 2019. You guys are going to be most interested in um, test one. Uh, you know, you're welcome to study test two, but but these are the these are the previous tests. I expect things will be, you know, there's only so many questions I can ask without uh, overriding things. So, you know, I expect, despite the fact that the PDF looks awful, um, things to be similar, you know, uh, organized similarly. So, you know, use this, use spring 2019, um, use summer 2018, summer 2019. Those are good places uh, for you to, 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 to verify, to check out. And then next, you know, a week from this Friday, we will give you your first test. 
Um, it shouldn't take the entire period. So for then any of you who have accommodations, please get your accommodations letters to me as quickly as possible. Um, but I expect we'll be able to do it all. You know, I think what I'm going to do is target it for an hour test. Uh, and then I'll either stand around and, and, and keep the room open for anybody who needs extra time uh, or, or we'll work something else out. Um, any questions on any of that so far? Let me get to my questions part. No hands raised, no questions posted. Okay, pretty cool. Um, transitioning back to our uh, housekeeping. I meant to get the rainbow grades out last night, um, but it turns out, uh, as it as things are wont to do, um, that the version of Ubuntu that I'm running does not have the same compilation string as uh, the previous GNU compiler that I was running. So I had to go through and revise most of the slides. In all honesty, it wasn't really necessary. There wasn't anything germane there, and the point could have been made with either way. Um, it's just that the slides wouldn't actually match up uh, with any demos I show. Um, so anyway, uh, they'll go out tonight or tomorrow morning. They're all set to go. I just need to uh, to download the grades and, and, and read them in. Um, finally, this one I'm finding kind of cool. Uh, this was posted, I think it was by one of you. It may have been, I'm not sure who it was. Um, may, have, may have been Eli or... or um, Anyway, it was posted in our Discord. Um, little tweet here. NASA designed a helicopter that could fly autonomously on Mars, which is kind of a cool little headline, but who really cares that we can fly on Mars? Um, instead, here's the big bullet. Um, right? It's been open sourced. So the, the, whole, the whole operating system, not necessarily the, uh, the helicopter code, but the operating system is is available uh, open source. So now there, uh, I guess the the, uh, the quote was, "This is the second planet where Linux uh, is the most common operating system." Um, in fact, it's, I think it's exclusive uh, to the robots on Mars. Uh, and by the way, men are outnumbered by robots on Mars. Um, so you know, if that strikes a, a little note of fear into your heart, you know, maybe that's appropriate. Um, but as of as of Thursday. Um, this actually landed on Mars. This is the code for um, the framework code on which the operating, you know, running the operating system for uh, the robot. I didn't do a lot of research into this just because uh, I didn't have much time. Um, but Docker, we will talk about at some point, um, probably this semester. It's certainly on the, on the schedule of things to talk about. We always do have to be ready for for something fun and important to come up. Uh, CMake, we're going to talk about CMake today. Um, CMake is, is actually how it looks like you're building this system, which is great because I'm a big, fa a big fan of, of CMake. I wasn't always a big fan of CMake. Um, just like Git, it takes a little bit of getting used to before you actually start uh, believing in it. Um, here's our CMake lists.txt file. We'll talk about that a little bit. This is significantly shorter than the CMake text file um, for, for some of our bigger projects uh, like VX, uh, VTK and uh, VXL and, uh, and ITK. Actually, I'm not sure VXL or KDE. I'm not sure VXL actually runs um, CMake. In fact, I don't think it does. Anyway, so this is just a really cool thing. Uh, open source is on Mars. Open source is, you know, leading on Mars. And uh, woohoo! Join the party. Um, any questions? No one's getting excited about Mars or open source on Mars. To whoever posted that, by the way, thank you very much. That was, uh, that was, uh, I always try to keep my eyes open for some interesting things. That was certainly an interesting thing. And it was, uh, it was, uh, really, in, you know, it was really great that we got that posted out. Um, Earth is next. Yeah, we'll have we'll have open source on Earth next. Um, yes, uh, Earth is next to be overwhelmed by robots. I think that's a uh, a true statement as well. All right, so let's get on with with the rest of the class today.